Ladies, what's a hard to swallow pill you've learned over the years? There's going to come a point where the right thing to do won't feel good at all. There are some things in life that you have to do, and they will break you down and hurt more than anything. But they're still the right thing, and you will have to live with that. That sometimes you can be the toxic one, even if you have the best intentions. Accountability is important. After about the age of 25, I realized I had to work to stay healthy, physically and otherwise. Did not see that coming and it felt really unfair at first. Then I realized that if that's my bar for unfair, then I've had a pretty effing good life so far. And I should count my blessings and go run. You can do everything right and still get effed. You can't control that. That seeing someone's potential means nothing unless they try to fulfill it on their own. You can wait until circumstance motivates you out of your bad habits, but banking on future motivation risks you wasting most of your life. Your parents don't actually always know or want what's best for you. Sometimes it is what's best for them and or the society they lived in. If they like you, you won't be confused. People don't always change no matter how hard you try to make them. We are all starring in our own movie, that long running favorite, me and my life. One day it hit me like a ton of bricks that all those people who are extras in that movie, M-A-M-L. I'm just an extra in their movie the same way that they're just extras in mine. I started looking at things very differently after that. Most of the time, things that happen really and truly aren't about you. A counselor once said to me, people do what they want to do. If someone wants to spend time with you, they will find a way to make it happen. When you get to a certain age, elasticated waistbands are the best invention ever because by God you bloat. Your parents are people too with their own issues. Love and partnership isn't guaranteed to everyone. Growing up I didn't have a big interest in having a boyfriend but always assumed I'd find the, the one. Because that's what always happens, right? Wrong. I've been single my whole life but suddenly, it doesn't bother me anymore. I learned that being single is not a death sentence, it's still a life worth living and it's no less fulfilling than a married one. Having a man is not the achievement we are taught it is, and our lives certainly don't depend on it. Don't assume people will treat you with the same kindness you treated them with. I can't save everyone. A drug addict will only change once they want to. Giving money to friends doesn't always help. Sometimes it's helpful, but sometimes you become a parental figure always caring for them. And the dynamic is screwed. It doesn't how much psychological education I get. I can't save my family members. People have to be ready to save themselves. I can't do it. I can support. I can love. I can distance. But I cannot save people. You can do everything right in college and have honors, connections, and experience and still not find a career when you graduate. You can only tell certain things to certain friends. Some friends can be there for any work problems, but doesn't give you what you need if you're having family problems. For example, instead of shutting out friends that can't be emotionally available for every aspect of my life, you compromise and keep them around knowing you'll only be able to share so much with them. And that compromise is better than losing a friend altogether. And that it's your responsibility to manage your expectations, not to change their behavior. Use your PTO, you can't take it with you in the end that no one cares. This sounds pessimistic, but I really don't mean it that way. When it comes to medical issues, boundaries with friends, or relationships, no one cares about you the way you do, and no one will advocate for you the way you can. You need to value yourself and take action as if no one else will, because in all likelihood, they won't. I'll always on some level be judged by my looks and weight. I am improving in the weight department, but I'm 57 and my best looking days, such as they were, are far behind me. 
People still don't owe you anything even if you're willing to risk your life for them. It's still their decision if they're gonna lift a finger for you, and you shouldn't feel entitled for anyone's time and attention. Financial freedom is the only freedom. Money cannot buy you happiness, but the lack of it can bring you misery. Sometimes people just won't like you no matter what you do, and it's okay to stop trying with those people. That my dream of meeting someone and falling completely in love with each other is probably built on reading and watching so many love stories as a kid and it's not very realistic. That there is often little to no correlation between effort and outcome. I've been successful at some things with little effort and a lot of luck. I've poured my entire soul into other things and still utterly failed. He doesn't want to just be your friend. Timing is everything in a relationship. You and that person can totally hit it off, match when it comes to personality, share the same values and outlook in life, have sizzling chemistry, etc. But if you two are on different stages of life, or if one of you just has to focus on other things besides a relationship, then it still won't work out. That our bodies have an expiration date to have children. The longer you wait, or the longer it takes to find a partner that you can actually see your life with, the higher the risk it is to try and conceive. Sometimes I also believe women often feel pressured to have kids before they are truly ready mentally, physically, financially, just because the chances to have a healthy baby are higher at a younger age. If something in my life is going wrong, it's most likely my fault. Silver lining is that I'm the one who can correct it. That's it's better to have a safe paycheck from a job you hate than the uncertainty of being self-employed. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see the original post, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.